Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays the Binding of Isaac. I kind of forgot where we were in the order, so we're going to do a uh, random run. Not a random item pools run. Although it does make... Uh, never mind. I was going to... Oh, you know what? This has been like 12 different discussions that I've had to have right off the start here. I think we are going to play a Dr. Fetus run. And I know some people are going to be annoyed by this, but I do get messages all the time of people being like, Northern Lion, why do you take things like Mom's Knife if you're not going to take, uh, you know, things like Fetus in a Jar? I'm just going to see what our pills are. Speed Up's actually really good, and Puberty is totally fine. And Unicorn Horn is probably a lot better than what we're actually dealing with here, although the Yum Heart is obviously kind of critically important now that I've taken so much damage. But anyway, um... People, and, you know, that's a good point that, you know, I take Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, even though those are overpowered combinations. I think I, I'm more likely to take them because they show up a little bit more rarely. But still, uh, why not, you know, once every now and then have a, an epic fetus run? Or a, a fetus in a jaw run. And you know what? We could almost speed run. Why don't we try to do a speed run of the game? This would be, if we're in a vanilla kind of part of the game, uh, let's, let's make it happen. Maybe we can set a new record. I'm pretty sure the record for actually beating uh, the game, fetus or no fetus, is like... 10 minutes or something like that. 7 minutes through the chest. I really should probably go a little bit faster here. HP upgrade is a good start. Let's head down to the next floor. So we're just going to bomb our way through a lot of these rooms. Let's do this. If we find an item room, we're going to go to it. I don't know if Odd Mushroom actually impacts our rate of fire when we're playing as Maggie. Let's do this, though. We're going to find our doors, and then we're just going to blow them up. Epic Fetus is so much better for speedruns uh, than Fetus in a Jar, by the way. All right, this is going pretty terribly so far. Uh, we'll see how long my resolve lasts if I just continue to take damage nonstop. Let's see what this pill is. We don't know. It's bad trip. That's a little scary. Hey, cat, now's not the time for you to get in front of my screen, okay? I'm trying to set a new world record in this video game called The Binding of Isaac, and I think I have a reasonable chance here. All right, that's uh, not an HP upgrade, but a range upgrade. Flies, get away from me. I have no way to basically take care of you. All right, floor, uh, curse of the labyrinth. This could be amazing or it could be terrible. I should probably just start blowing up the doors, but uh, that's okay. We'll continue onwards here. We should still be reasonably quick here. Let's, oh my god, the... There's like a catastrophe happening here, and I mean that like both as a pun, but also because there's cats that are just falling off chairs all around me. I have two cats. You'd think it would, wouldn't be this um, difficult for them to stay afloat. I'm possibly going to die. I'm actually going to be really disappointed with myself if this happens. Let's uh, let's nullify this speed run for now, shall we? Because I'm very disappointed in the way that my life is is turning out here. Yes, yes, I know my life for ire and all that. All right, so we've managed to find the secret room, which maybe is a brief bastion of sanity after all of these freaking silkworms. Holy shit, okay. Fuck the speed run for now. Should have saved Yum Heart. It's okay. A little bit more damage and we'll be fine. Our item room contain, or sorry, our secret room contains the Ankh. Okay, speed run's back on. How are you guys doing, by the way? I'm gonna stop uh, just oscillating back and forth between strategies here. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day as well. This is, a, uh, you know, just hanging out on a Sunday, playing a little bit of Binding of Isaac, basically. I woke up this morning and was like, what do, I, what, should, what do I want to do with my day today? I could go get some groceries. I could, you know, go for a run or something like that. Yeah, like, that's going to happen. Instead, uh, maybe I'll just play this video game that I've played for, like, 750 episodes or so. And uh, we'll set a new speedrun in it, and I'll be the Lance Armstrong of the game. Uh, and it's true. I will admit that I use performance-enhancing substances. In particular, uh, I use the Xbox 360 controller to play Isaac, which I think makes things uh, much easier. And I know that the IOC has banned it, and the uh, double I, TBOI HF, the, the International Institute of uh, the Binding of Isaac, have fun.com. It's uh, just something that's pretty obvious, I think. I don't actually use the Xbox 360 controller, by the way, to play the Binding of Isaac. Although I know a lot of uh, speedrunners actually, well, not speedrunners, but good Isaac players actually do. And uh, I'm not snobby about controller use. If you want to use the controller, that's fine. If you don't want to use the controller, that's fine too. Uh, I can see how it would be like basically functionally the same as using keyboard. Uh, I was gonna say keyboard and mouse, but very rarely using the mouse in the Binding of Isaac unless you uh, want to make sure that you are going to uh, use Epic Fetus properly. I guess. All right, more, plenty more keys here. And I am going to be skipping some of the item rooms, and I know that's going to annoy the shit out of a lot of people. Uh, but that is my way of kind of balancing things ever so slightly after picking up uh, what I would consider, obviously, one of the best items in the game. Allows it would be great, though, if we could get more uh, bomb items, basically, because as of right now, uh, I am capable of doing a lot of damage, but it can always be more. This obviously isn't going to help us out in that quest. But we could get more HP, which would actually be perhaps really useful. We'll see. 
And I would also love to get a deal with the devil here because that is uh, one of the few remaining sore spots is maybe like lacking the ability to fly. Peep's dead. Drop Squeezy. Those spirit hearts will be very useful for us. And then, who do we have in our next fight? Gertie. Kind of an ideal uh, item set to be fighting Gertie with, in all honesty. As long as we just kind of roll around here and, and stay smart, we should be able to take Gertie out. Never have to worry about any of the things that it creates and just be happy with our lives. Another spirit heart there. And uh, deal with the devil. And the deal with the devil is nine lives, which is scary as hell, and Book of Sin, which is not very good. And we'll take our coin purse very quickly just to see what we've got here. What are these? Luck up. Sure, we'll take two luck upgrades. And then one of them is I found pills, and the other one is a speed upgrade, which we actually could use at this moment. This has been a very quick run so far. We'll see if it continues. I didn't actually go to the item room on that floor, which is kind of a silly and awful decision. Uh, you know what? Of course we'll play. Uh, thank you for not killing him. Of course we'll play a little uh, demon baby here. And I don't want to play too much. But I do have this unicorn horn, so I'm going to use that to bolster my, my play a little bit. And hopefully we'll snag a good deal with the devil for free. If not, we can always come back later. Alright, now we'll switch over to Mom's Knife. Uh, we won't shoot bombs anymore. <laughs> it's a strange run, but it's a run that I'm kind of enjoying because at the very least it's making it, uh, you know, very high damage for me, which I very much appreciate. And again, if I'm going to pick up Fetus in a Jar, I guess I should pick up Mom's Knife as well. Although there's now, I've, I've angered everybody. First by picking up, uh, Dr. Fetus, sorry, which I guess is Fetus in a Jar. Uh, and then by skipping a bunch of item rooms, and then by trading, uh, Fetus in a Jar, which I never get for Mom's Knife, which I get all the time. But I like to keep things dynamic, you know? Our speedrun, I guess, has ended, uh, sort of. Also, Mom's Knife is doing terrible damage. I don't know what's up with that, and of course we get Mr. Mega immediately afterwards to make me feel like a big asshole. I apologize. That's okay, though. We're, we're still not in a fantastic position, actually, because I skipped uh, maybe two item rooms already. I probably should have just thought things through and, and stuck with uh, Fetus in a Jar, but that's okay. I'm feeling a little bit off in Isaac today, uh, so I should compensate for that. Uh, well, A, first off, thank you for giving me great items, but I should compensate for that by going on some tangents with my dialogue, I think. But I don't really have that much to say here. I also did not mean to open up that... Uh, fortune teller area, but we will go to the curse room. You never know what we can find in there. Usually you do know what you can find in there, and it's typically spiders. Actually, Guppy's Paw is a really great upgrade for us. As you know, um, Guppy's Paw will now give us the capability to basically create as many spirit hearts as we can, and we're gonna get a deal with the devil item from the Fallen as well, assuming we survive, which we should have no problems doing. Uh, our damage from Mom's Knife is not very good at all. I don't know if that's a result of, uh, you know, fetus in a jar not being, or actually like causing like a damage downgrade to your tears, maybe? Uh, but, it's still doing more damage than our tears would be, but less damage than the fetus in a jar would be. And we can always buff it up a little bit, you know? Obviously, Ouija board is terrible for us in this situation, but what about our deal with the devil? I was kind of hoping it was just going to be Krampus. I'm not going to take... Ah, uh, I'm going to take the mark. I thought about not taking it, and then I decided that, uh, instead, I'll take it, I'll get the spirit heart, we'll get the extra damage, which is something that I was complaining about, uh, and then... Uh, we, we won't have as much to complain about in the future, and I can still use Guppy's Paw to create a very nice amount of health here, so... We'll see how this ends up working out. I actually... I'm... The more I think about it, taking Mom's Knife when it dropped was actually a pretty poor decision. I should have just not done that. Stuck with Fetus in a Jar, and then if I got the ability to fly, I'd be in a great position. As of right now, I'm still in a very good position. You know, if I have Mom's Knife and the Mark and Guppy's Paw, that's just kind of like waiting here latent, uh, to eventually give me a fuck ton of spirit hearts, permanent Polaroid invincibility, and who knows, maybe Horror Babylon or something. Uh, you know, that's that's a great item. I, or it's a great combination of items. I can't sit here and tell you that that's bad, because it's not. But I would like it to be a little bit stronger, if possible. I would love to go to this boss trap room, and I would love to have more HP. The belt is pretty good. It's not really great for us in our situation, but at least it's not an active item that would cause us to second guess how we feel about uh, Guppy's paw right now. And I will use one key to open up the shop, and there is a map for sale, and it's half price, which is lucky for me. Uh, but also, that'll allow me to find the secret room, and that's good. I don't want to lose the spirit heart potentially getting that penny. With no rerolls, uh, we don't really have to prioritize any specific direction here. We've already been to the item room. I hope that bomb will work. We've already been to the item room, and we've already been to the shop. Uh, not huge gets, but still pretty good, all things considered. Fortune Teller dropped nothing. We could blow it up, but I think it's better to save our bombs for later. And this is uh, our arcade, so this is where things are going to get interesting. 
because I'm going to gamble obviously like crazy on this blood bank and obviously we want to get the blood bag but also this just allows me to go to the boss trap room wow we picked up a ton of money there might want to buy that spirit heart then well unfortunately we got IV bag um, it's not I guess if I'm gonna play it I should have played it twice but whatever now we can go to our boss trap room and we'll see what's in there and I, I could go back to that shop and buy the spirit heart I guess that's worth one-third of an HP upgrade which is pretty substantial and we got another HP upgrade just in our boss trap room, which is kind of par for the course, but I'm very happy with that regardless, because that means not only do we get the added benefit and, and luxury of having another HP upgrade for a little while, uh, after that we'll get the benefit of having three spirit hearts, which is uh, pretty useful, you know? We, we're not going to need 30 spirit hearts to win this run, probably, but the more we have, the better our odds are, so uh, let's just back it up and around here, and we get a little bit more money, and that's not really going to benefit me all that much, but... There is some health back here. I suppose I, you know, since I have nothing else to do with my money, I might as well buy another red heart as well. Just to make sure I don't die on the mom fight, potentially. Not that I think that that is a, a likely scenario, but, you know, stranger things have happened. So, uh, let's make our way to this boss fight now. Obviously, this is a long way away. We're unlikely to get any more guppy items. It would be awesome to become guppy on this run, of course, but uh, I don't think we're, I don't think we're going to find that is in the cards for us, if you will. This is a scary situation. Just make sure you get the pill. Speed upgrade, you know what? Let's go crazy. That's what we're gonna do on this run. Uh, speed upgrades out the wazoo. Wait, that's like the weirdest slang for ass. Like, that's what it is, right? Like, he's got, you know, he's got money coming out of his yin yang. That's basically saying, like, he's so rich that he's got money shoved deep within his body and it's coming out of his rectum, right? How did that come to be? I mean, I, I get that it's kind of like a joke thing. Ha ha. This guy's got, you know, so much of this thing that he's actually shitting it out instead of shitting out shit. Which is crazy, because shit's something everybody has a lot of. If it's displacing shit as, like, the dominant, you know, parts per million density type thing going on in your, uh, in your GI tract, then you maybe have an issue that you might want to get checked out. But, I don't, was there a guy who actually had that? He's like, hey, Bob, check out how rich I am. Check out how many Snickers I have. And I don't know why I'm doing Dave Chappelle's white guy voice, but, and then he just shit out like a Snickers bar right there. I don't know. It's very weird to me. I don't understand how these idioms come to be. I wish they would be a little bit more logical, but they're not. I'm going to gamble this another two times, but after that, we don't really have too many more options. As much as I would love to get the blood bag, it's not the end of the world if we don't. So, I think we'll just blow it up, actually, and then hopefully get some red hearts back. Well, we got a little money back. Big deal. Uh, and the mom fight, which should be very easy. So, again, there's a case to be made for as soon as we get the Polaroid using Guppy's Paw. But there's also a, uh, a, I think, a better case to be made for not doing that and instead saving our health uh, and saving our Guppy's Paw usage, dealing with the fact that we don't have permanent Polaroid invincibility for quite as long. That was such awful damage for me there. Uh, and then we have a chance to get a deal with the Devil with our remaining health. So we get a Tarot card because we got... Um, actually, you know what? We can take the Polaroid now. Shouldn't have blown up that uh, fortune teller. I didn't expect to get, or shouldn't have blown up that blood bank. I didn't expect to get the fortune teller. I didn't expect to get the fool. There's so many different cards in this game, I don't know what to say. Uh, or so many different entities that I don't know what to say. But anyway, this could give us a deal with the devil, and we'll see if maybe there's something there that's worth picking up. Well, no. Okay. That's fine. So we have the Polaroid, and uh, it's not Utero XL. So it's going to be a little slower here than normal, potentially. I'm going to start by going up to the upper right. I don't think... I should have much trouble on this floor and the floor that contains mom's heart. I think that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be easy for me. More red hearts is always well, not always, but for now it's good. Uh, eventually, it'll actually be completely fundamentally worthless to us. All right, enough keys to start possibly opening golden chests, and we found our boss room right away. So this is gonna be a very quick floor. Not quite a speed run, but it has been a quick one regardless. You can't deny that. There we go. Uh, we're at like 14 minutes, I think, to be on the womb, which is, uh, much faster than usual. Oh, my keyboard's freaking out! It's pulling me in, like, one direction here. Not the band, specifically. That would be very weird. I wonder if it's running out of batteries. That's, like, the only thing that I could really foresee stopping me here. That and me being bad at dodging, which certainly, uh, you know, you could be forgiven. Oh, I swear to God, I tried to move out of the way that time. It's like my keyboard's sticky or something. Hey, you know the line. What have you been doing with your keyboard? I, very funny, chat slash comments. Uh, so this is Guppy's Paw that's going to be used. That's going to take us exactly to 12, I think. So we can't afford to get hit very, very much. Um, but that's kind of normal. <laughs> so 
you know, on any run, you try to minimize the amount of damage you take unless you're playing with the, uh, you know, the Razor Blade or Blood Rites or something like that, Kamikaze, and you're trying to be a real clever dude about the whole thing. Or lady, you know, you can be a clever lady about the whole thing as well. Doesn't bother me. Some people maybe. But I am not one of them. Now, I'm just gonna hang out here. And I, I did lose a little bit of health. We have the- oh no, we don't have the relic. That was actually a run that I- You know, to pull the veil bag a little bit, I do occasionally scrap Isaac runs if they uh, are not going well. And, well, if, if they- if I die before like the 15-20 minute mark, basically. And I did have a Judas run where I just didn't get any HP and I was on- I think I was on the depths when I died, but I didn't get any HP at all. But I had the relic drop like in my second to last item room before I died. And I was like, well, okay, don't get so many Isaac's forks. Um, I was like, well, maybe it'll happen, but I don't think that uh, it actually would have. And we died soon after, so Dad's Key is a bad item that I probably should have picked up and then just put back down up to sundown, see where the bad guys are to be found and make them lay down. It's okay. I, I swear to you guys right now, my keyboard is flipping its shit. In, if, in fact, in many ways, we're like, uh, lucky that we have the items that we do, because otherwise, I think I would be in an even more dire position than I actually am. Uh, because with Mom's Knife, at least I just have to kind of pilot myself into the enemy, uh, and I don't have to worry about too much of anything else. Oh, that Eternal Heart actually still is good. <laughs> I was gonna say sucks, but then I realized that I still had Guppy's Paw, so that's actually just like getting three Spirit Hearts dropped right away. That was my own damage. You'll, I'll tell you when I feel like it's my keyboard messing me up, and when I feel like it's me being me. Uh, we don't want that Eternal Heart yet, I think. I actually don't know how it really works. I don't really want to go to the curse room. That was me being me. I got kind of stuck in those rocks there. It's okay, though. I really wish that we had picked up the compass at some point. Can't always get what you want, I suppose. Uh, okay, brain dudes died in one full hit, like if you include the backswing as well, which is a pretty good indicator that our damage is all right, because those guys typically have uh, kind of an annoying amount of HP. Okay. We had a couple of... Jerks that are involved in this whole situation here. Maybe we'll get a lucky tinted rock. No such luck. Uh, those guys are normally not very difficult. I'm not sure why I struggled with them a little bit there. Oh, that was kind of the ideal start to that room, followed by completely shitting on the fact that I had kind of an ideal start to that room. Don't, just don't take damage again, and at least, you know, all can be forgiven in time. And I can leave after the mom's heart boss fight, so I don't need to worry too much about making sure that I get that eternal heart before we go in. And we should be fine. Nothing there. A uh, couple of double wraths. This is what worries me because I think the the rooms on the chest, should we make it there, are going to be real difficult. I mean, I know they're really difficult, but I, I don't think we necessarily have the quality of run to compensate for that yet. Although we might, it's hard to tell. Permanent Polaroid Invincibility plus Mom's Knife allows you to just do so, so much damage to any enemies who have the misfortune of getting in your way. I made it out of there briefly, much to my surprise. Okay, and what do we have in our mob trap room? Just a regular chest. I don't think that's worth opening. We could have gotten skeleton key or compass or something, but we didn't. So, uh, you know, if, if some butts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. But we're not going to have a Merry Christmas. We may have a Merry Christmas, actually. I don't know. It's only February. It's hard to tell how the rest of the year is going to shake out. Could be good, but there's always unforeseen circumstances that can happen, right? I, mean, I have no reason not to be optimistic. Mom's heart is dying quite quickly. Today's going pretty okay. If Ghost Baby would just stop shooting my fucking bombs out of the way, the life would be slightly better. Um, but still, not a whole heck of a lot to complain about here. Alright, alright. That was a little scary. Uh, we can fire in a few more shots here. And as a result of this, we're gonna be done. Don't let me forget that- Oh, that was such bad damage to take right at the very end. Don't let me forget to take that Eternal Heart. I was just concerned that I was accidentally gonna walk into the, like, the cathedral's light. And that is obviously something that you do not want to do, because if you do that, then uh, when you leave the room, you can't actually make it back to the cathedral again, which is bullshit, but also the truth. So, doesn't it, is the truth a rapper yet? Because if not, I want that to be my rap name. I'll be Ryan Letourneau, a.k.a. The Truth, or Ryan The Truth Letourneau. They're both good names. I like them. But for first things first, let's come down here, and uh, inside of our boss room will be a beam of light that will take us up to the cathedral itself. I don't think that it's going to be too difficult here. We have roughly the same amount of health that I had. Um, oh, that was very lucky, actually, right there. Um, roughly the same amount of health that I had when I started the last floor. You stop moving, thank God. You are going to die. Shouldn't play chicken with you. 
but a little bit more. Okay, uh, we'll see where our boss room is. If I had to be a betting man right now, I would say that our boss room is probably far right. Yeah, it's not here, that's for sure. That's the only thing that matters right now. And Mom's Knife is actually a little bit difficult to aim when you're trying to aim it diagonally at enemies like this. I don't think that neutral fly is going to be a real problem, but we've got to keep our distance, so that's annoying. Yes, there's a Demon Judgment. We could play him. We have permanent Polaroid invincibility. But I think it's it's too scary. It's more trouble than it's worth, potentially. I'm trying to figure out how I would handle this room. Uh, I guess we'll bomb here, and this might allow us a faster trip to the right side of the map. And actually, finding a regular Judgment is great. If he actually pays out with an HP upgrade, that would be beautiful for all parties, I would say. More keys is fine as well, because I may actually end up using those on the chest. We need to make sure that that actually... Uh, it's something that has the possibility to happen first, though. I really don't think I can take more than four or five damage on Isaac. Like, it, like mathematically, if I dodge a little bit and then uh, hit him with full brunt of the mom's knife, every permanent Polaroid invincibility, I think I should be very likely to succeed there. So we do have a sun card. Uh, as someone who does not have red health, the sun card lost a lot of its, or has lost a lot of its uh, efficiency or effectiveness, I should say. Uh, but we can still use this as a compass plus map, and there's no point to doing it now because we've already been to like five or six rooms. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna take Blue Candle, obviously. Guppy's Pod really is unlikely to benefit us too much more at this point. But yeah, we can use the Sun card as a map plus a compass, which is very nice. Uh, I immediately responded to my great coup by getting Blue Candle by taking damage twice on a room that I should not take damage uh, once on. Mob Trap Room is at least worth going into. Poison touch. Yeah, okay, I know we're gonna have to fight bosses here. And I if possible, I would ideally love to not have to feel like I have to go to this uh, mob trap room. But poison touch is just one of those items where if we come out of here and we've only lost a spirit heart or two, or even better, zero, uh, then that's just great for us because uh, we got a free poison touch. There's a little bit harrowing potentially, but uh, there's one spirit heart. I had a feeling we'd lose at least one. Uh, against Monstro makes sense. Is that two? No, I managed not to get hit there, much to my surprise. Okay, good. That's a one spirit heart for poison touch is a good trade. That's gonna really buff up our permanent Polaroid invincibility. Oh, okay. Gertie Jr. is just me or has he gotten a little bit faster than usual? It's another spirit heart down the drain. We're down to seven. A little scary, but we do have the shop uh, approaching us soon. So, you know the, the routine here for a mom's knife or, you know, a, a high damage and blue candle run. Just walk into him over and over. Uh, and then, okay, we're gonna walk into him over and over again. I think Mom's Knife still does more damage than Blue Candle. But what we gotta do is fire Blue Candle in to block the shots that come out as a result of him firing all the time because he got poisoned. It's been a sloppy game. I'm glad that the game has basically carried me by giving a lot of giving me a lot of really good items. Uh, but by the same token, I, I haven't played particularly well. And I realize that uh, not every game can be a, a stellar one. Uh, but I think, hopefully, it's entertaining at least. The absurdity of the run, I think, is one of its highest values is that we got so many good items for a vanilla run that are extremely unlikely to get. Uh, okay. That was bullshit. I got... I don't have D6, yeah. I got, uh, two Brother Bobbies, or Bobby bob -oms. I didn't even think that was possible. Uh, in fact, I was very confident that that wasn't possible, but... Okay. It's extremely unlikely at the very least. Maybe there's something weird going on with spider Mod. I don't know. So I should use the Sun card and figure out where we're supposed to go. Uh, remote de detonator is substantially worse than blue candle, but that's okay. I'm not gonna hold it against it. Uh, we're just gonna watch out for troll bombs here. The most important part of this whole fight for us is doing that. Uh, but we need to kill famine first. And you might be wondering why kill famine first if war is kind of more of a pressing threat. That's exactly it. You take care of the smaller enemies so that the, uh, the bigger enemy is less of a, uh, or you're not as distracted when you're fighting him. We do have, uh, well, that extra spirit heart is super useful, but we do also have the Ankh, I believe, so if we die, God forbid, uh, I should come back. The shovel's worthless, and I don't think I can bomb my way out of that room on a, uh, on the chest. On any other floor, I could do it, but on the chest, I don't think it's, it's possible. So, so far, so good here, uh... They're gonna stay kind of in sync with one another, like Lance Bass and JC Chazé, uh, which is much appreciated. Uh, now they've kind of lost it a little bit, and that scares the shit out of me. Here we go, that's uh, good enough. Okay, fighting one monster or two is an order of magnitude easier than fighting two monster or two, so... Good, uh, no. The tick is, we could actually take it now and not ruin our run. But, uh, the permanent Polaroid invincibility is one of the major things that actually gives us a small chance to, well, a decent chance to actually succeed here. Uh, as is this fight, which actually, which actually could give me either Bob's Rotten Head, which would be 
you know, not as great. Or it could give me a tarot card, I think. And uh, that tarot card could actually make a, a huge difference, depending on what it is. If it's the hero font, that's a huge difference. If it's the devil, huge difference. Uh, there's many cards that could uh, drastically alter the look of how this boss fight is going to be. Just play cool back here. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay, if you could stop shooting, like, so often, that would be much appreciated. It's very difficult to actually get you guys in line for a shot here. Uh, Blue Candle's got a little bit better range on it, so I guess that should be my primary focus. Ooh, almost. That's a bomb that I didn't mean to put down. It's got double homing capabilities, though, so, you know, we'll always have that. Okay, one of them is dead. And again, one Super Sloth, the uh, order of magnitude easier to fight than two Super Sloths. And we get a Tarot card. Tarot card is Temperance. Kind of worthless. We could do something a little funky, and uh, every time we get hit on the boss fight, we could just put Temperance down, well, put Temperance down once, and then walk into it and hope to get, like, the blood bag over the course of the fight. But that sounds real silly and more likely to hurt me than help me. And we've we've handled uh, the chest very well so far, I think, in all honesty. Loki's not dying as quickly as I would like him to. I, I seriously... I either really underestimated Loki before, or he got like a, a stealthy Sam Fisher-style health bump. Because seriously, I used to think Loki was like the closest thing to an automatic fight. Now, I mean, we're, we are fighting three of them, which maybe makes things a little tougher. Uh, but still... Given that I have Mom's Knife and Blue Candle, I would never expect them to take this much time to kill. I'd expect them to get two shot, basically. But maybe that's, you know, great expectations. Which I have never read, but that's okay. Our other tarot card, the Tower. Technically, probably better than uh, Temperance, even though we had a potentially cool idea that we could run here. So we're at, like, exactly the amount of health that I think I lost when I was fighting Isaac before. And uh, we're fighting Blue Baby, which is, on paper, at very least, a little bit more of a difficult fight. There's a little bit of damage for us. Uh, I should use this uh, tower card when I take damage, but I think the best way to do that is to wait until the angel fetuses actually start spawning, if possible. Should be using blue candle more, by the way. That's uh, just a no-brainer. Uh, but yeah, the next time I take damage, if there's angel fetuses... Oh, man, okay, maybe we, maybe we don't use this tower card, because now I'm worried about when my invincibility comes off and may actually kill me. Oh, the fly! Oh, the fly. Oh, man. I think we're actually going to end up losing this one. I'm kind of bent out of shape about that. If I had just not taken a little bit less... Or if I had just taken a little bit less damage on the way here. You know what? Let's just take this fight more slowly. Ghost Baby doesn't kill the flies in one hit, which is just comical to me. What are you doing at this point in a run if you can't kill a fly in one hit? All right. You know, we've, we've entered the second phase of this fight. And I've been hit again. And that is probably going to seal our fate as uh, biggest losers here. But that's all right. Just be smart about the whole... Oh, what the hell happened there? There's an angel fetus spawned right on top of me. Well, I hope you enjoyed the run anyway, in spite of my ineptitude and uh, you know, terrible dodging and whatnot. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to show your support by clicking the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.